Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast Hauler review. We have not done a hauler in a fat minute. And I currently have three haulers in queue waiting to be reviewed. So we're going to start out with this one now. I got this, I don't know when, I got this a while ago, a few months back, right? Now this is the hauler that goes to this diecast right here. Which, oh, one drop. Which is the Hellman's Real Mayonnaise from 2019 for Dale Jr., this is one of his uh one of his last schemes at least for the Xfinity series and for overall actually. I think he might run one more race but I don't know. But anyway, if you can see here that I'm scooted back a little bit. You can see all of my die casts right here in the back. That's cuz this thing is super long, right? This hauler is uh not very friendly with the camera meaning it's hard to get in frame. So I'm actually like my arms are out. The most they can. I mean, well, they can probably go a little more. But my arms are straight out. That's because, again, I had to scoot back a little bit just, just to get this thing in frame. So, yeah. I'm not a fan of reviewing haulers, but I do like getting, like, the Dell Jr. ones and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's get into the Diecast Hauler review. Alright, so here's the hauler out of the box, and it's blue and yellow. Not the correct blue and yellow for the channel colors, but still blue and yellow. Either way, it is still my favorite color combination, but the way we're going to review this uh, hauler is where I want to do the cab first, and then the actual hauler part itself for the trailer, just so it's not a hassle to do. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take a look at the cab first, if we can get that off. There we go. So here's the cab, nothing special. If I can get some more light over here, that'd be fantastic. I'm not used to this. It's been a long time since we've done this. So you just got a yellow cab, you know, all yellow, nothing special. Got a little bit of a uh, design back here. A little bit of graphics, not bad. Got Junior Motorsports right there on the door. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. Got the wheels, of course, nothing special, nothing on the bottom. Got Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, there's nothing on the top. Other than this little, like, roof hatch type deal. Um, but yeah, I got Junior Motorsports right there, and you got Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, and you got the little graphics on the side. Now, onto the actual trailer. If we can take a look at this, zoom out just a wee bit. So you got your standard, you know, trailer size. There's no 124 scale trailer. That would be a pretty big freaking trailer. <laughs> I'm not going to, that's going to be a, you know how big that would have to be. That would be a ginormous trailer. But one day I'd like to see that. Got the Dell Jr. signature there. Always love that. Got the Dell Jr. race car there. Got the eight, you know, helmets, all kinds of stuff on that. I don't think I've done a review on that diecast actually. I don't think it was DNP'd, but I don't think I ever got it either. Or maybe I did. Did I ever review the number eight Hellman's from 2019? Did I? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I had that diecast. I don't know. I have to look later on. But you got this graphics uh, on, the, on like along the side here, going underneath the race car and then back behind it, which is actually kind of cool. Hellman's real mayonnaise right there on the side as well. And you got the number eight on the back, and of course. Got the junior right there as well. So let's look at the back here. Got the front of the Camaro there. Uh, Helmet's real mayonnaise right there as well. You got the lights and stuff. You know, nothing special, nothing crazy. And of course, the back opens. You can fit die cast in there if you want to. I believe it holds three, just like on the bottom. And of course, you can stack it up to like, I think it's like two or three high. But I think it's like three deep, three die cast deep. I don't know, something like that. Then the other side is basically the same. Nothing really special, nothing really changed. However, I did notice one small difference. You see the junior autograph, or not autograph, but signature there? The car is over top of it. On the other side, it's not. I mean, I'm sure it's just decal placement. Because it's just all one decal along the side. There's no multiple decals, so it's, that's just the graphics of it. But I mean, hey, it's still there. That's still pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know if I reviewed the die cast of this. Let me zoom out a little here. There we go. I don't know if I did a die cast review on the 164 now i do have 164s of it but i didn't review them or at least in this one so i have this one here right which is the corresponding die cast to the hauler i got this one here which is the liquid color of the 124 or the 164 i'm sorry and then i had this wee little guy this 187 
That is also the same paint scheme, nothing special. But let's see if we can go ahead and get a thumbnail right here just to uh, kind of see what we can do. I, I think this is going to fall, probably. Oh, well. If it falls, it falls. And I won't get a thumbnail. That's fine. There we go. Uh, can I scoot you in there just a little bit? Just a wee bit? Just, just a tiny bit? There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Watch it fall. It'll probably fall. Anyway, knowing my luck. So, that is going to be all for this die cast haul review. Um... I'm sorry I don't do these often. I just, I don't really get the haulers. Haulers aren't really my thing unless it's Dell Jr. And again, there's not a lot of Jr. ones either. I still have, well, I got a Hendrick, like a whole Hendrick hauler that I got to review. And then I got the, what is it? The Dirty Mo Media one I got to review too. I'll review that one after this one. Oh, and not to mention, there's not going to be one diecast hauler review today. There's going to be two. One at five. Eastern Standard Time, which you're seeing right now, uh, it's probably past 5 or before 5 for you, depending on where you are. And I'm going to have one at 7.30 today, too, Eastern Standard Time, of course. So yeah, I'm going to have two holler reviews, which I've never done before. I've never done a double upload with hollers, so that's going to be pretty interesting. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. One other thing before I head out of here, I do want to apologize for not having the stop motion out. I just, I didn't have the motivation, I'll be honest, but I'm into editing now, I got to do the driver results, and a little bit of audio, not much else, and then I got to send it to Diecast Buffet for the voiceover, so I'm going to try to have that out Sunday around, I think I told Diecast Buffet either 3 or 5, I'm going to try to have it out, now if he can't get it, he can't get it, you know, it's whatever, and it's my fault for not having it ready in time, so it's on me overall, but anyway, I'm going to try to have that out by Sunday, Hopefully we can kind of get that out. If not, we'll get it out as soon as possible. Again, I, I am sorry for the delay. I've been working on this stuff. I've been not motivated to do it and just all kinds of other stuff. So yeah, we should have that out uh, around Sunday, maybe, hopefully Sunday. Again, maybe Monday. But the plan is Sunday. Again, it was either 3 or 5. I don't remember. I think it was 5, honestly. I may have said it for 3. I don't know. I'll have to look again. Also, it's, what is it? No, no it's October, November. Okay, so I got... Two months to do how many races? One, two, like four races. So I'm going to try to get those out. Very soon I got to do Darlington, which is, I believe, is the last race before the playoffs. And then, uh, let's see, I got to do the two playoff races. So it's only three, but I got to edit and upload this one. And then we'll take a few month break, and then we'll get back on schedule, of course. Uh, I don't know when, I think it's like... March, April ish, maybe of 2021. And we'll have all the 2020 die casts out there the Camaro ZL1, one of these, you know, the Fords, all kinds of stuff out there. So that's going to be really, really awesome. But anyway, that is going to be a little bit of an update, and it's also going to be the end of the video. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Upside down.